Hello and welcome to We Are Finn. I'm very pleased to be joined once again here on We Are Finn by uh, Joyce Klein, who is the uh, MD for North America Aerospace and Defence Digital Lead at Accenture. Welcome back, Joyce. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. Now, we're talking all the time about the disruption within the aerospace and defence industries, um, artificial intelligence as well. Tell me about how Accenture are making sure that that disruption does not disrupt companies. I'm so glad you're asking me this question because in terms of the role of artificial intelligence, there's so many different ways to look at it. So let's just take one um, to start. And let's talk about the role of automation. So robotic process automation. There are many, many organizations that are starting to look at this because what does it do? It takes away those mundane or very manual tasks and there's an opportunity to automate those so that the employees that are doing the work can actually move to much higher level activities. So that's one. Now, the other part of artificial intelligence is truly the use of machine learning and AI. And one of the things that we're finding is that for many of our clients, there's a desire to use these capabilities and skills, but then there's a huge chasm in terms of the actual ability to actually deploy these capabilities. So that's an opportunity for us as Accenture, but also an opportunity for our clients as well. So how does that happen? Well, we can use algorithms to speed up a particular process or activity and then make that process and activity much more intelligent. And that's one of the key things that we bring as Accenture Applied Intelligence, which is how can we turn these activities into being more value add, more seamless and more automated. And certainly that's where you are key players, isn't it? In make, making sure that your customers stay relevant in their industries. Absolutely. Our role is to really help organizations be much more effective and how you know we, can, we work many different ways to try to bring that capability to them. And the use of artificial intelligence is just one of the examples. Are there any hurdles that uh, companies uh, perceive in adopting artificial intelligence which you help them overcome? Yeah, there's actually a big one. Um, in fact, some research that we did cited the fact that for many organizations, there's actually some challenges around the use of humans and machines and the interface between those two. There's actually a feeling by a number of organizations that people are, let's use the term, afraid or skittish around the use of the technology. So that's one of the things that we work to try to overcome, which is how can that technology actually be used in partnership with um, the actual people that are that are doing the work because at the end of the day it's an enabler and how can we try to find all of those opportunities whereby artificial intelligence machine learning etc can help people do their job better and more effective Joyce, thank you very much for your time. My pleasure. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Nice to talk to you again. Now, for the latest, of course, on everything from AI and uh, its place in the aerospace and defense industries, you'll find the latest news, as always, at wearefin.com.